Welcome back to the breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at 167 watt USB C and USB charger. It comes with three USBs and three USB Cs here to charge a ton of devices all in one little spot. Now there's a few catches here with this. We're going to break that all down and a whole lot more here in a quick moment. First, a few disclaimers. This was not a re or this was a review unit. My apologies. This was sent to me to review, but they don't get to see this review until it goes live. They're watching it on YouTube just like you are. So keep that in mind. Pricing on this changes so rapidly. I hate to give you a price to have it be wrong. Check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment for a link to, on, uh, to it on Amazon so you can find current pricing. And lastly, hey, before we get into the review, could you help me grow? Could you help me support my family? Just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping me support my family. So with that said, let's dive into it. Let's take a look at this product. Just start off with the actual box itself, and I'll show you everything that came with it. So three USB-Cs here, three USBs. You got a plug in the back. Now there's a few catches here. The top plug is the fastest at 65 watts. And then it goes down from there. And if you plug everything in, it can still deliver 65 watts, which is really cool that this is able to max charge several phones and many laptops. But the maximum this will put out through a single port is 65 watts. So if you have like a 100 watt uh, MacBook Pro, for example, this won't uh, max charge that. Let's take a look at everything that came with this here. And let's talk about a few things you need to know a little bit more with it. Again, just to reiterate, that's 167 watts in total. Now you divide that out between all the ports and obviously you're not getting 167 uh, watts out through each port. But this is fast enough to max charge a laptop, a phone, a Nintendo Switch, some earbuds, a tablet, and more all at once through a single device, which makes this a great travel charger for a large family. You plug this in, put it on the desk in the hotel room or the Airbnb or wherever, you can max charge a ton of devices all at once with it. Now, in our testing, we were able to quickly and um, char rapid charge my Pixel, my Lenovo Yogo laptop, and more all at once. I do like how they clearly mark with a little like mini computer icon and a red USB-C port, which port is the one that is meant to be used for max charging with it for the maximum 65 watts. I do wish it kind of broke down each one down all the way down on what the max for each one was. Just put a little number right next to it, but that's a little bit of nitpicking with it. Overall, I was very happy with this. I always ask myself a few questions when it comes to a device like this. Number one, does it do what it says it's going to do? And in our testing, yes, it did deliver the 65 watts we expected with it and all the ways down the list. Two, is it well made? And yes, we had no problems with our testing. Nothing broke, nothing felt like it was poorly assembled and was subject to breaking. Everything worked exactly as we expected it to do. And lastly, will this do what I wanted to do? And yes, charging my devices, through a single port here on it. Now, a few things here when it comes to wattage on it. I often get this question. Luke, you know, you said 65 watts the main, I plug in this or at this device or that device, and um, it didn't do that. Well, for one, most phones, even though let's say they do 20 or 30 watts, that's only for about the first 50%. After that, to protect the battery, it slows on the charge, so it doesn't overcharge, overheat. I know I'm kind of oversimplifying that, but so it doesn't damage the battery. So remember that. That's why the first 10% of charging from zero to 10 goes really fast, but 90 to 100 takes a lot longer because it's slowing down the charge to prevent damaging your phone. Second with this, um, it is important to remember that it's broken out again between all the different ports. So keep that in mind. All right, so that's it for today. I hope this review helped you. If it did, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, let YouTube know so YouTube recommends our videos to more people. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV oh, and, and more over our Core Cars News channel. Check that out. I'll pull a link to it in the show notes down below. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll be back again real soon.